Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every trinket, 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 and trinket in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man who had swallowed his pride and choke on the Rhine, but the lack thereof would leave him empty inside, Will Hughes. Yeah, it's me. I'm Eve, uh, Eve 4. Ooh. We're not quite there yet. We're getting there. Not there oh my yet. god, getting we there. almost got so many Eves. Yeah, you, this is back when, before you guys had a bass player. Uh, yeah, I'm watching, uh, I've been watching Lucifer on Netflix. Okay. Eve, a okay. major character of Lucifer. Uh, you ever read those comics? I never did. I assume they're better than the yeah, show. Yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the show's good, but the comic is good. The show's not My good. Carrie. The show is is Castle, but but the devil. Trinket Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Trinket. Days. Tuesday, Wednesday. Trinket. Days. Thursday, Friday. Trinket. Days. You like Castle, Gary? Ah, uh, no. Is it your favorite Nathan Fillion show? No, I like Firefly, okay. What about the rookie? No thanks. Gary, yeah, how like, much, like I, yeah, what if we watched the rookie together? Gary, what if that became our thing as friends? I think that I would uh, try to come up with a new thing. Okay. <laughs> as friends at that point. What if we just started a rook club? Like a like like a, like a rook? No, just like the, like a book club but for the rookie, for episodes oh, of the rookie. The bookies. Okay. I did it all. Um, I had rookie. to learn what that was. Did, would, because you wanted that cookie? I'd have to figure out what the rookie was. I don't I don't know the rookie. Oh, the rookie Not is Nathan Fillion's writer. latest TV show where he plays like a 45, a, a Nathan Fillion aged man who decides to become a cop. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's, uh, they can do that. Uh, kicked you out would, of the academy. You think no, but yes. They made an exception for Nathan Fillion. Yeah, he's because he's so kind of generically handsome and charming. Yeah. And they figured I, he's got eventually one they would get an Alan Tudyk cameo out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Will, I got a science question for you. Hit me. Okay. Baby, one um, more time. So we all know about right, hot water heaters. I do. By Britney Spears. We all know about hot water heaters. Yep. What makes water cold, though? What makes water cold? Okay. So, Gary, do you know what uh, flossogen is? Uh, no. Flossogen is a compound that is included in everything that can burn. Uh, okay. It is literally the thing that is burning when we burn something, right? Uh, okay. The flossogen inside like it is igniting man. and causing a fire. What was that, Gary? Like a burning man. Like a burning man or the uh, Bachelor parody series Burning Love, which yes. uh, streams in various places and is very good. Uh, mm-hmm. Great Janet Varney performance on that. Love Janet Varney. I, do you? Yeah. Me too. Janet Varney's good. Yeah. Of like that that, that kind of like, you know, she's right up there with uh, Jessica St. Clair, who I... Yeah. Every time I watch Jessica St. Clair on anything, I'm just like, that's Jessica St. Clair. That's She's Marissa great. Wampler. I love her. Love her so much. Uh, she pops up in thankless roles often and always makes them great. God, she's good in review. Mm-hmm. They got to get review on streaming, Gary, is the point of this whole anecdote. I really would like review to be on streaming. Gary, you know what my other take is right now? <laughs> I know no. we're, in the, we're in the subsection. I need you to, to, to talk about this because I was thinking about this and you're the okay. only other person who will care. Okay. Bananas for Bonanza should not have non-character guests. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Like, yes. uh, sometimes they're funny. Like, uh, Meryl Marco was funny. Uh, Nick Pizzolatto from True Detective, surprisingly funny. Yeah, really weirdly a funny dude who played a lot. Like, he was basically was playing a character. Yeah. But, like, when it's just, like, a person who they think is funny, I, it feels like they're trying to get attention for the show or trying to, like, juice it. Yeah. By doing that. And No. Yeah, I'm there because I'm there because I like those three characters and I want these three weirdos to interact with people and also talk about Bonanza. Well, yeah, the, I mean, the, to me, the best thing is, is like I, it never doesn't work for me. The jokes about how long they show things in real time. Yeah. And stuff like I just want them to talk about the fucking episodes. Um, and every once in a while, they'll, they'll get a good guest interaction where like somebody will talk about a female character and be like, well, does she show up? And they'll be like, well, <laughs> no, no, you know, no, never. <laughs> like, uh that's really good but i agree with you i want characters yeah. on that and that's how it started you know bartleby mm-hmm. uh you know uh uh the lawyer paul Tompkins' lawyer uh uh publisher publisher yes uh, uh shineland or yeah uh speaking like of uh paul F. Tompkins, i'm gonna plug it here just because i want more people to listen to it people should listen to the neighborhood listen uh which mm. is another earwolf show uh it is tremendously funny it's paul f Tompkins and uh nicole parker improvising as neighbors reviewing next door posts, basically. 
That's and, great. And they have on an, uh, a very good improviser every week to play some next door asshole. I uh, I got back into audiobooks. My podcasting days are on pause. Oh, nice. What you what you listen to, Gary? I'm listening to uh, Midnight in Chernobyl. Okay. The, uh, the the good book on Chernobyl. That got I'm vampires like, in it? Uh, it might. I'm pretty early in it. <laughs> so <laughs> Nuclear uh, puppies and radioactive vampires. They did talk about the radioactive girls. Ooh. Uh, the, or the radium girls, rather. The girls who would paint the numbers on watches and were taught to lick their I remember that. Uh, brushes until their teeth and skeletons started crumbling. Yeah. And then they accused them of having syphilis and uh, fired them. Right up there with the, the Fiesta Wear people. Yeah. Yeah, just really dark shit. Very, super dark. To answer your question, Gary, uh, a cold water heater, uh, as they're known, mm-hmm. is a vacuum that sucks phlogiston out of water, thus okay. reducing uh, its heat. That's got to be a pretty dangerous thing with all that phlogiston in there. Oh, yeah. No, uh, about 98% of house fires are caused by cold water heaters. That's interesting. That uh, the other interesting. 2% are me. Okay. Ooh, you're busy. <laughs> Hi, Gary, it's all I fucking do. <laughs> hey, I remember you from the add-on case from L.A. Noir. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, um, Eve's bird foot is shit. It's absolute <clears throat> shit, Gary. It's one of the what, worst. What tricks. trash? You know, 5%. What if a shitty item was a shittier trinket? Yeah. Uh, when okay. an enemy dies, you might get Eve's bird for a little bit. 5% gets up to 100% at 8 luck. So then nope. you definitely have birds. Yep, you have a, a shitty bird who does garbage damage if you manage to kill an enemy. What colossal horse shit. Oh, can only spawn more. It cannot spawn more than one dead per room. So even that, yeah. like the interesting thing where you could like get a flock of these, like if this was per floor, and yeah. by the end of a floor you had like a swarm of these, that would at least be interesting. Well, it would it would follow the 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 thing, fly, spider, crow. Like it would follow the, you know, the order. Activated. Who should I kill? Um, Trump is what I would say if I didn't want to get on a list. Phew. Oh, <laughs> Close one, uh, Gary. You, Sorry, you just got to be careful when you're tossing out those activation phrases. Yeah, I, I hope I fooled the NSA listeners. Absolutely. Gary, yeah. uh, I, I think that our main defense against being caught by the NSA for the things we say on the show is the majority of things we say on the show. Yeah, they would have to be very dedicated. <laughs> if, if, if they found that, they deserve it. And it, or like their fans, if I go to in jail, which case, be fucking cool. Maybe we'll send you a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like we'll be able to make a shirt. I will send you like any number of things from my around my room if you don't uh, in jail me. Shadow boxes, books, mm-hmm. pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Good pocket. Uh, Gary, have you mailed no. pocket to Abu Dhabi yet? No. He's got a vet appointment on Monday, though. That's pretty close. Yeah, exact same thing. Is he doing yeah. okay? Is this just a checkup or is there a problem? Just a checkup. Okay. Yeah, he's uh he's doing okay. Um he he had a rough uh like a little moment a little while ago. He's better now, uh, but he does have his uh, yearly checkup mm-hmm. thing. Um I do have to sedate him for it. Ooh. So they gave me some cat drugs last time because he uh he made an enemy out of the cute vet- veterinary lady <laughs> who I use, Dr. Carr. Uh he he's like like I got that, that like proximity glower from her. This is very funny. Like came and she's like Okay. Yeah, he did. Well, you're gonna have to give him this before you come in next time. No, no, no. He's spicy as hell. But it's just very funny to have. Like, like this is literally your job. Why are you mad at me? (laughs) Well, because you raised a bad cat, Gary. You have a bad son. I didn't do that. He came bad. (laughs) Nurture. There we go. Or nature, rather. Uh, Gary, people Um, enjoy the show. What should they do? I'd say Patreon.com/slash DuckFeedTV is a good start. It's a good start. Uh, not prosecuting us is a good finish. Yeah. And uh, leave a review. <laughs> leave a review, like. Uh, this one from, it's another one from our old pal, the Chesapeake Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> this is on iTunes. It's starting to get creepy. Yeah, a little creepy. Uh, five-star review. Oh, this isn't the review, Gary. Uh, what do you oh. have against normal Illinois? Oh. Um, it's fine. Gary uh, so my Grogu really good friends are from there. and Will, the living game fact, read stories from r slash no sleep using the voices of increasingly self-indulgent improv characters. And I love it. I feel like that's already showed up, but the normal annoy was like the addition. Maybe. No, I mean, they called you Grogu this time, so that's new. Oh, <laughs> Grogu, the name of uh, the, the small Yoda. Yeah, baby Yoda. 
And then I'm Will the yeah. Living Game Fact, which is definitely my new uh, Marvel character. That's really good. The Living Game Fact is good. You know, I'd say you're more of like a living TV trope. Thanks, Gary. That's a mean thing to say. It is, but I don't think you're actually that encyclopedically knowledgeable about games. Well, neither is Game Facts. Yeah, but TV tropes is. That's true. Um, good night. Good night. Oh, uh, coming soon, Fallout 76, Steel Battalion or whatever. What? It's the new sign off. Good. Love it. I lost the ad, no, no. actually. And then the, the what for me is also... Oh, part of the, this is all part of the sign off. This is all part of the sign. It's a long sign off that references really how, long. itself how long it is. Yeah, if you if you have notes for how we could shorten this up, please uh, let us know. That would be so good. Thank you. Still part of the sign off. We appreciate that. Yeah. Good night. Good night.